uh, I felt good. I had a lot of energy. I guess that's what wrestlers do for you. But um, I'm just I'm just happy to be uh, somewhat healthy. Um, I feel I feel incredible right now. So hopefully we got another one tomorrow and I can have the same amount of energy. What are the last few days been like for you? Hell. Yeah, so it's been like, man, my body was all types of messed up. But, um, you know, they let me um, get better. Uh, my guys was taking care of me at home. Uh, the foods. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> what was the worst of it? Was it the throwing up? Diarrhea, <laughs> man. My stomach was, you asked, I told you. <laughs> That's what y'all wanted to ask me. <laughs> y'all are crazy. Ask me about D-Wade's 17 points. Yeah, man, my man was doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he the benches D-Wade. Like, it was really dope. So D-Wade, it was nice. Yeah. Um, Taj played well for us tonight. Um, and we did everything as a unit. Memphis is a good team. I'm just going to, y'all don't want to ask me questions. So I'm just going to answer this. So we're going to focus in on them next. I the players. And uh, we were looking to steal one on the road. Did Rondo help generate more offense for you today? Yeah, uh, he played with a lot of energy, which is great. Um, getting guys the ball in places where they can make shots. And when he's doing that, um, I think his, he's making everybody's job a lot easier. Jimmy, how was your wind out there tonight? Uh, That's bad. Yeah. I was pretty good. Once I got in a, a rhythm of things, um, it, it, it went kind of back to normal. You know, I got up and down on the beat yesterday, but. I think I still got a, a little bit of ways to go to get back to being basketball shape. Was that scrimmage? Did you ask for that, or did Fred decide it was a good idea to kind of get you some conditioning yesterday? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah. He, he asked, and I said, yeah. So I already had it in my mind that I was going to play anyway. So Was it full court? <clears throat> yes. Jimmy, Jimmy, halfway point of the season, how would you sum it up? Uh, we got a, a long way to go. It's just halfway. Um, but we're, we're going to be okay. We got to um, start straightening together some wins. And, um, Make this push. Do you, do you think, even though you're you know coming back from the injury, the illness this week, do you think in some ways giving your the rest of your body a chance to rest a little bit could be? It's always a good thing. Uh, rest is always a good thing when you got back to backs, uh, four and five, three and four. Um, but I, I want to go to war with these guys, man. This is what we you know, go through training camp for, preparing, compete. So when I can't, I'm I'm hurt. But um, I feel good now. But I'm ready to battle. I know, you, I know you were going through the diarrhea and all that other type of stuff, but were you able to watch the games that, that yeah. you missed? Yes, what, yes, what, yes. Did you, what did you see? Did it give you a sort of different, a different look? A lot of potential in these young guys um, and, and how much they mean to this organization, this team. You know, when they're confident, what they can do out there. We want to keep them guys <laughs> confident because we got to let them know that their time is coming very, very soon. Did, it, did, you, did you sense that they were playing with a little more freedom? Without you being there, do you not yeah. saying you hold them back, yeah. but do you do not like, worry about it? Like I tell them, um, things like this happen. You know, nobody wants to get injured, nobody wants to get sick. But um, I think you don't want to go over at the bench as much when guys are down bodies because no matter if you mess up or not, you get the opportunity to stay out there. That's just being that's just being real. Um, whenever I was in that position and guys were sick or, or guys were hurt. Um, you go out there and you just play now because when you look over there, there's too many more bodies. So you got to stay on the floor anyway. Do you feel like you have a certain kind of connection with some of those guys given what you experienced your rookie year when you were yeah. to get yeah. that kind of opportunity? Yes and no. Everybody's different. Everybody got different talents. So you're used at different times in the game. Um, I couldn't score to put my life in anything whenever I was young in this league. But if we needed to stop, somehow I'd find myself on the floor. Does it drag you nuts to watch the game and be out? Because you know, played 40 minutes tonight. Yeah, trying to get out there. What's I just, like? I just want to play. I just want to, you know, try to help my team win. I don't want to see my guys go to battle and uh, win without me, lose without me. We're in this together. And we're going to continue to be in this together when I'm back. You know, carried them a lot down the stretch from the game. How nice is it to see Dwayne and all and say, all right, I'm going to take over the game. Um, I'm happy for him, just like he's always happy for me. Um, he wasn't making shots early, but he, he kept with it. And that's what we need. Um, uh, those shots that he takes, they're going to go in, as they did. And he's beating the monster on this. Does that make you guys a little bit different from the other teams that you're battling with that you basically have to follow with and carry a team to four points? Oh, not only the two players, though. I think we got guards, everybody out there. We got shooters. Um, we got bigs every bound of basketball. We guys that go to work in a post. If you got a guard on five guys, it's going to be tough to, tough to beat.